Welcome to all of you in this video. In today's video, we will learn that how many types of majorities are there. When a bill is introduced in either house of the parliament, it needs the majority to be passed. So in today's video, we will learn that how many types of majorities are there and how they function. So let's start with the types. So basically, there are five types of majority. The first one is simply called majority. The second one is called the simple majority or the ordinary majority. The third one is called the effective majority. The fourth one is called the special majority. The fifth one is called special majority with ratification by the states. So let's see one by one what are they. So let's talk about majority. So when I say majority, I mean 50% plus 1 of total membership or strength of a house. So, as we already know that Lok Sabha has sanctioned strength of 552 members. So, in that case, what would be the majority in Lok Sabha? So, let's calculate it. We just have to divide 552 by 2 and add 1 in that. So, in that case, the majority will be 276 plus 1 is equal to 277. So, if we secure 277 votes on a certain bill, we will say that or we would say that we have acquired the majority. Now, let's talk about simple majority. What is simple majority which is also called ordinary majority? So, when we talk about simple majority, we mean that 50% plus 1, 50% plus 1 of members present and voting. It means, suppose we have to imagine a condition that all 552 seats are filled there is no vacancy in Lok Sabha but despite of this fact only let's say 540 people came to attend the proceedings of the house so if we are talking about simple majority or ordinary majority we have to get 50% plus 1 of this 540 people so we will have to divide 540 by 2 and add 1 in that. So we will get 270 plus 1 in this way 271. So the day when Lok Sabha was attended by 540 people, we will say that 271 will constitute simple majority. If we would secure 271 votes on a bill, we will say that we have achieved the simple or ordinary majority. Now the third one is effective majority. Now what is effective majority? When I say effective majority, I mean 50% plus 1 of the then members of the house. Let's assume that in a particular year, two seats are vacant in Lok Sabha and this year only 552 members are there. So when I say effective majority, I am talking about 50% plus 1 of those 550 people. So let's calculate it. We just have to divide 550 
by 2 and we have to add 1. So, the effective majority in this year would be Two hundred seventy-six. So, if we secured two hundred seventy-six votes on a particular bill, we will say that we have secured the effective majority. Now, let's come to special majority. What is special majority? When I say special majority, I mean that majority of total membership plus two third majority of members sitting and voting. So, this is called special majority. So, when we secure the majority of total membership of the house and two-third majority of the members sitting in voting, okay, then we say that we have achieved special majority. And the last one, the uh, fourth one is, uh, sorry, the fifth one. This is fourth one and this is the fifth one. Okay. The fifth one is special majority with ratification of half of the state. Sometimes when a bill seeks to amend or change the federal provisions of the constitution, then it is also sent to the legislative assembly of the states. And if half of the legislative assemblies of the states pass it, then the bill stands passed. So when with special majority, the ratification by legislative assembly of half of the state is sought, then it is called special majority with ratification of half of the states. So it's nothing but special majority plus ratification by legislative assembly assemblies of half of the states so let's quickly summarize it so as far as types of majority is concerned the type of majority are five the first one is called majority. When we say majority, we just talk about 50% plus one of the total membership of the house. The second verse is simple majority. When I say simple majority or the ordinary majority, I mean 50% plus one of members present in voting. When I say the third one, effective majority, I mean 50% plus one of the then members of the house. And when I say special majority, I mean majority of total membership plus two-third majority of members sitting and voting. When I say special majority with ratification or by half of the states, I mean that after garnering a special majority, the same bill is sent to the legislative assemblies of all the states and it should garner or collect the ratification by legislative assemblies of half of the states. So these are the five types of majority. I hope this video was informative for all of you. We will continue the same series in the next videos. Thank you.